an object of mass one kilogram is dropped from a height of two meters above a vertical spring attached to the ground. So we have a vertical spring. We have an object that's dropped from a height of two meters above the spring. Now we are given the force constant, 200 newtons per meter. The object collides with the spring and compresses it. Find the maximum compression of the spring. Now at the maximum compression, the object stops moving down. What happens is that the object strikes or collides with the spring. It moves down. It compresses the spring. It keeps compressing the spring until it, its velocity becomes zero. As long as it has a velocity which is down, it keeps moving down and keeps compressing the spring. When its velocity becomes zero, it cannot compress a spring anymore now, and that's a maximum compression. What happens after that is, in fact, the object starts moving up. So the maximum compression occurs when the velocity of the object becomes zero. So here we have two situations, a situation where we have the object at a height of two meters above the spring. The object is at rest because it's released from rest. So here V equals zero. And a final situation where the object is again at rest or the object has zero velocity, but the spring is compressed. It's compressed by an amount x. So we want to find x. So I use conservation of energy. Ei equals Ef. Initially, the, the energy of the object, kinetic energy is zero, but it has a potential energy. Now let me measure the height from here. So taking x to be positive, the height initially is 2 meters plus x. So the initial energy, I get half mvi squared, which is 0, plus mghi which is m, g, h, i is 2 plus x, is equal to the final energy. The final energy, half m v f squared, which is 0, because the object has 0 velocity at maximum compression, plus half k x squared. Now, uh, here the, okay, mg h final, which is zero, all right, because, because I'm measuring the height from this reference plane, uh, plane, and the height here is zero. But now, in the final situation, the spring is compressed. So plus the, the energy of compression of the string, the, the, the spring, which is half k x squared. So plus half k x squared. So we have mg, m is 1, 
and g is 9.8. So that's 9.8 into 2 plus x, where x is in meters, is half, and k is 200, and this is x squared. So it's just 100 x squared. So we get 100 x squared minus 9.8x minus 19.6 equals 0. x is equal to 9.8 plus or minus the square root of something divided by 200. Okay, so 9.8 minus or plus square root of 9.8 square minus 4 times 100 times minus 19 points. So that's plus 4 times 100 times 19.6 divided by 2 times 100. Now, if I take the, notice this is 9.8 square. The square root of 9.8 square is 9.8. But then I'm adding something to it. So the square root is certainly larger than 9.8. So if I take the minus sign, I end up with a negative value for x. But we took x to be positive. Okay, the assumption here when I say that the distance is 2 plus x here, it means that x is positive. So I must choose the positive sign. So x equals 9.8 plus square root. I'll just use 10 for now, just as an estimate, okay, to estimate. I replace the 9.8 by 10. And so this is 10, that's 100. I replace this by 20. So I get 4 times 20, 80 times 100, that's 8,000. And then 100 here, that's 8,100. Divided by 200. 8,100, that's just, the square root of that is 90. 10 plus 90, 100. Over 200, that's 0 0.5. So x is about 0 0.5 meters. That's the compression of the spring.